If this is your first time watching my videos, welcome to Conversations from the Heart. This morning I woke up and I felt compelled by what I can only describe as a divine force to give you a message to not despair. That divine essence that we call God, Source, Universe has not abandoned you. For those of you watching, I'm not sure what you're going through right now. But the message I have for you is to have faith, especially in the midst of the illness. Have faith in the midst of the lack of the struggle, the sorrow. Sadly, we have become the kind of society who believes it when they see it. But that's not how the universe works. The universe works in mysterious ways and those ways are often not revealed to us until after we have acted in faith. I believe that faith is the precursor for miracles. So if you are hoping and praying for an outcome in your life right at this moment, then you must become the kind of person who believes it before you see it. You have to act as if and thank the universe in advance for already receiving your wishes. You have to believe especially in the absence of evidence because that is what faith is. So jump into the unknown because once you've jumped, the bridge will appear. I have a beautiful story that conveys this week's message about believing before seeing. I read in the scriptures that when Moses died, Joshua took over to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and into the promised land. According to the story, when Joshua and his people got to the banks of the mighty uh, Jordan River, the waters were vast and powerful. Its turbulent waters were seemingly impossible to cross. Joshua knew that in order to reach the promised land, they had to cross the river. But how? No boats or bridges were in sight and its current seemed insurmountable. It was a rainy season and the river was 150 feet wide with violent currents and winds. To cross the river will be to perish. But Joshua was a, man of, uh, was a man of unwavering faith and he spoke to the people reminding them to have faith and to trust the unseen. Prepare yourselves as we shall cross this river, Joshua said. The people looked at him with uncertainty. How could they cross this formidable obstacle? But Joshua showed such faith that the people began to believe. A great testament that sometimes the power of belief can overcome the absence of evidence. As they stood at the edge of the Jordan, Joshua raised his rod into the air and with faith commanded the waters to part, just as Moses had done with the Red Sea. But something interesting happened. The waters didn't part. Remembering that God once opened the Red Sea. For Moses, Joshua had no doubt that God will do the same for them. So again, he raised his rod up to the sky and said, Lord, please let these waters part. Everyone was watching with great anticipation, but nothing happened. Joshua had a decision to make and instead of turning back, he ordered the priest to keep moving forward. Now the Israelites must have thought that Joshua was crazy, but he was here. The, the Joshua had to prove his faith to God. Now the priest got right to the edge of the water but they still didn't par. God was testing them. You see, it is easy to have faith and to believe when you see evidence, but that's not true faith. And so the Israelites looked at Joshua one last time. Surely he will come into his senses. But Joshua commanded them with three simple words, keep on walking. The scripture says that it was not until the priest got into the water, until their feet got wet and the water was up to their knees, that suddenly the waters began to push back and two million people made it through on dry land. So you see, the universe works in such manners. You must first believe it before you can see it. 
the Israelites that day proved their faith to God. And it was based on that faith that the miracle happened. In the same manner, you must keep on walking. You must believe, especially in those moments where everything points to doubt, the waters of your Jordan will open up for you, but not before you step in faith into the unknown. Like in the story, you must first step into the water before you can see the path. Joshua's people didn't wait for the path to open for them to cross it. They stepped into the water and then the path opened up for them. The same can happen for you. So remember this story of believing before seeing when all seems lost, when you don't see a path forward. Remember that it is through faith that we can accomplish the seemingly impossible. And if this message has touched you in any way, leave me a message in the comments and give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and I will see you on the next episode.